Hey, what's up guys? It's Claudio here. And today is FTP test on trainer road. I have finished the six week sweet spot base volume one high volume. And it's time to see where my gains are. Uh, really excited about this. I was nervous. Of course, I know the results already, uh, but you're going to have to watch to the end to see. Um, I was nervous going into this. Obviously, you know, always, I'm kind of always nervous. Like, oh man, I, am I feeling okay? Am I, am I recovered enough? Um, before this, I did this uh, GP Llama warm up on Zwift. It's like some kind of custom warm up that I found. And it was like 26 minutes. And it took me through all the zones. It got me nice and primed. Um, but man, these things are painful, but only really painful at the very end. So. Um, let's get right into it. Uh, sweet spot base volume one was great. I did the high volume. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do the high volume one. Um, it's basically like uh, nine to 10 hours a week. You get uh, one day off and um, I did okay. I, I mean, I was totally fine. I only missed two workouts and it was one because I tried to do it outside and um, I was in North Carolina. There were a bunch of hills, and I just couldn't do a sweet spot steady interval for 20 minutes on hills. It's impossible. So I ended up doing an endurance ride outside. And then the other one that I missed, I did a group ride instead, which was um, great and still had um, a lot of benefit. So those are the only two times that I missed. So I really rode um, six days a week. Um, the other thing about the sweet spot, sweet spot is right below your threshold and this area, it's, um, it's a slow burn. It's a slow burn. It's not like a, a threshold burn or like, um, VO2 max or anaerobic, um, any of that high intensity burn. It's not your, your heart rate is not blowing out of your chest. It's a slow burn. It's a mental kind of game that you got to work through. Um, at the very end, uh, on the last week, I, they had me doing like three or four 20-minute intervals at like 220 watts, which was um, insane. I don't know how I was able to do that, but I did it. And um, and it's just uh, it's all up here at that at that that zone. It's really, if you can just tolerate it, it's really kind of an annoying uh, zone to be in because I couldn't even watch uh, shows on Netflix or anything like that. Um, it's like, it's just enough to, uh, to irritate you um, and you just gotta stay focused. But um, I'm glad that I went through it and stuck it out. Um, let's see what else. Uh, by the way, I am on Instagram and I do post a lot about all these workouts. So check it out. Claudio Fierro. That's my middle name. And um, I'm posting in the stories a lot. So follow along. Um, so in the in this uh, this ramp test where they give me a five minute warm up, then we start ramping it up every uh, one minute. It goes up by like 20 watts or something. I forget what. And um, you got to go all the way into the end uh, until you can't pedal at all. And it's okay if you, if you stop in the middle of an interval. You don't have to finish uh, the interval. You just go as much as you can uh, until you really cannot, cannot, cannot. And they calculate it and they give you your FTP. So... Um, Along with the, the, whole, the whole workouts, the whole workout plan, I did the strength training, which is uh, recommended by them, which is uh, deadlifting, um, these core exercises, several variations of core exercises. Um, I didn't do the pistols because those are really hard, but I did squats, uh, single leg squats, and some other um, pretty basic uh, strength works workouts um, and that is really it I stuck through it ok 
Okay, so here we go. We are. I'm watching it right now, and we just started. It started out at 123 watts. Okay, each minute's gonna go up. But anyways, I did the strength work. I did that um, at least twice a week. So I was really into it. And I used to do CrossFit a lot, like uh, five days a week, maybe two or three years ago. Um, I was really into CrossFit, so I know all about all those those exercises, and I, I enjoy them. Um, I'm going to get back into some more lifting during this off-season because uh, I really want to get strong again and um, get some of that raw power in there. So let's see. Um, my stats, as you can see up there, age 36, 156 pounds. Um, max heart rate, somewhere around 186, 187. I've never seen it go higher than 186. In this test, it goes all the way up to 186. And uh, my current FTP, 237. And you'll, you can see the video of that uh, a few videos back. So um, I finished this block, six-week block. Now, what am I going to do next? Am I going to go into, logically, it's the sweet spot base high volume two. They have another six-week program. But... Um, Trainer Road has this cool new feature called uh, Plan Builder. It's actually really cool. Let me look at it real quick here. Where are you? Okay. So they have me. So, so what it is, it's like uh, you put in all your information about your, your races, your A races and your B races. A races are, are the highest priority. And you put in a bunch of other information and they give you a plan that builds you up to that and they taper you and it's like it's pretty cool so they have i did that and i put my first a race is going to be um on march 28th which is uh the grant tomb criterium i'm i've never done it before i was so scared um last year i didn't join but I mean, for sure, I was going to get dropped right away. I'm doing it this year, and I'm training appropriately. So I put that in as my first race, and they, they, they put me on. It all, this all happens, like, right away. It's not like a coach goes and looks at it. It's all like an algorithm. Um, and so it puts me on a, on a build phase right after this, which is the second part of their whole training plan. It's a short power build, which makes sense. And um, it's got all these workouts, and that is eight weeks. Short power build, high volume. Then it's got me on a criterium, high volume. Usually those are eight weeks, but it's, uh, it's shortened to four weeks so that it can taper me into the race. So I'm excited to see about that. That's all going to pan out. Then I get a recovery week. Then it puts me on sweet spot base high volume two interesting right it goes back at six weeks and then i got a sustained power build phase that is because i have uh, the new york city triathlon i plan on doing that and i also have the new york grand fondo 100 miles up all over you know bear mountain and that is a sustained power type of deal both of them are so that came out Staying power build eight weeks, then my big A race in late September, uh, not late September, early September is the Green Mountain Stage Race, which I um, I did it this past year in 2019, got last place. Um, I really it really like tore me apart, but now I'm totally gonna be ready. I got um, coming out of those sustained power builds. I got the climbing road race high volume an eight week specialty and that should get me ready for climbing so basically this the starting off the year uh more in criterion base than ending it with uh climbing base cool right um and all throughout uh the summer i'm gonna have um all these uh criteriums these these small short races um in new york you know sprinkled in there and that should be a ton of fun so hopefully I'll carry the criterium fitness that I'm doing now throughout. Um, I'm gonna 
I'm going to somehow work through that because if you're doing sustained power and not so much the criterium stuff, you might, I might lose some of that top end uh, snap, but I'll try to, um, to make sure to address that throughout my training. Maybe supplement some sprinting, um, you know, anything like that. So back to the test. We are at 194. That's like my, uh, that is like my sweet spot starting out, it's starting to be my sweet spot uh, zone. Um, let's see, what else has been going on? Uh, plan builders, strength, group rides. I'm gonna be try to do more group rides, um, especially right now. The only thing, it's so cold up here. But um, they're so important just to ride with other people and, and pace line, stuff like that. Um, just learning how to be comfortable riding with people during the off season. So it's not such a shock. Like, you know, I'm always like, it takes me like two or three races to get into it. I'm not going to have that at, at this criterium in March. I need to be like ready to go. I need to have all my bike handling, you know, in top shape. I can't get nervous when somebody you know comes up and um, gets too close to me. I gotta I gotta shake all that stuff way before. So group rides, there's some Saturday group rides going up north, um, New York, which uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to do. There's like an A ride that's a full drop ride. I think I'm gonna do it this weekend. We'll see. Um, so that's in store. Um, Let's see where this is going to bump me to now. 222. Okay, it's starting. This is the top end of uh, the sweet spot zone. So I'm working. Heart rate is up to one, you know, 142. It's not a big deal, but it's, I'm definitely doing a little bit of work here. Um, another thing is uh, track racing. There is a whole track scene in Brooklyn, um, including the Red Hook Crit, which uh, they canceled last year, but I don't know, maybe they'll have it this year. Maybe, maybe get into that. Maybe get into track racing in general. I'm really curious about it. Um, and so that might be coming up. As well as um, I got some upgrades to my bike. Really excited. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, one really big up upgrade, which I got during Black Friday. I haven't installed it yet, but I'm going to do a video on that. Okay, so here it is. This is my threshold. This is, uh, I remember, I'm like, man, I, I'm starting to doubt everything here because it's, it's a, my threshold. It's not a big deal, but I'm working and I have been kind of working already for some time. So it's like, it's starting to, f uh, I'm really starting to feel it. And I remember I was doubting everything. I don't know why I doubted myself so much. That's just how it goes. Um, you have to really commit to it, to the pain and suffering. Anything, anything past your threshold, you gotta really, you stay focused. So this is gonna bump me above my threshold. Yeah, doing some work here. Heart rate going up. And I'm just trying to keep my cadence to around 90. Above 90, 90. 95. That's what I'm used to. That's what I, uh, I know. It's, it's taking some of the stress off my legs and more of like a heart rate. Just spinning it out. Um, so another thing to, another topic, you know, what, what am I? Am I a sprinter? Am I a, a climber? Because early in the year, I'm going to be criterion-based. At least my fitness plan and then I'm gonna go into more of the climbing the sustained power so like what should I it's I'm still it's still really early but in my whole cycling journey I've only been cycling two and a half years I'm just trying to get everything up 
on my, on my entire fitness up. So um, I know that I'm not naturally a sprinter. I wasn't winning races like the, into the school yards, the 50 yard dashes, um, but you can totally train it. And I, I'm, I am very interested in training specifically my sprint. I might get into it. I really might, you know, do the gym work, um, the heavy lifting, do the actual sprint specific workouts, maybe supplement those or, uh, or take or substitute for train a road because I really, I remember racing last year and I got to the end of the race and I couldn't even do like 700 watts. Like I was, it was partly because I, I you know, spent all my matches on making mistakes, but having that snap, not just for the field sprint, but just for, for catching, um, catching the group if there's an attack, covering attacks, it's, um, you gotta, everybody has to work on it, right? Not just if you're specializing in sprinting. So I think I'm definitely going to uh, do some work on that. I'll keep you guys posted. I might make a whole video of that on, on being a sprinter from a non-talented sprinter perspective, right? A lot of us, I mean, sprinting is cool. It's, it's cool to watch the, the sprinters at the end of a race. And we can all, especially in the amateur categories, we can... We can totally train it and be like a sprinter in the Cat 4, you know, you don't, and, and win races just by positioning and being smart and then popping off like an 1100 watt sprint for eight seconds and then you got it. It's totally doable. Right now my max power is like a thousand watts. Um, I haven't tried, I haven't tested it yet recently. You know, but I remember it took me a while to get to, to see like a thousand watts on my power meter um, doing some spring workouts. So maybe I'll test that. Maybe I'll see where I'm at right now and see what I can do to build that. Now would be the time to do it over the next like eight weeks. Okay, now I'm watching myself in some pain here. 293 watts. My uh, heart rate is... 175. I'm still, my cadence is still good, but I'm definitely in some pain here. I remember telling myself that I, I, I need to get above like 300, 320 interval, somewhere around there. And this, this is the pain. This is, these last few minutes are going to be painful, and I knew it. I was like, just do it like a couple more intervals and got it, man. I remember this one was hard, this jump above 300. Um, I'm just watching like all you guys are. When is it going to happen? When will I fail? You can tell, uh, you can tell by my heart rate. I'm not maxed out yet. But I'm in some serious pain, working hard, just working 30 seconds at a time, I told myself. But I'm breathing. Oh, man. Ah. Easy. It's, I'm telling myself it's easy. It's easy. It's actually easy because you got to fool your mind. Right? If you're like, oh no, this is impossible, then it's going to take a few watts out of you at the end. Tell yourself it's easy, and you got it. Okay, this interval, I knew that I had it. I knew that it was hard, but I, I knew that I had it. I could do at least this much. And I'm already uh, above 181. This is really painful stuff right here. I'm staying in the saddle. I used to do FTP tests, the 20 minute efforts, like completely out of the saddle. The entire 20 minutes. And then I would crank out like 260 something watts for 20 minutes. And it would give me the FTP of 250. And that's what I thought my FTP was last year because I could do that. But there's no way I could do that in the saddle. 
So I had an inflated FTP. Some of you noticed that. They're like, bro, you're not, your FTP is not 250 because you're getting dropped like so fast. And then you guys were right. Back then, my FTP was like 220 something. Um, I couldn't crank out the watts in the saddle. But now, I am. And this one hurts. This, this is like, okay, this is like, whatever, 186. I'm topped out. Some real pain here. Easy. I'm keeping my cadence up. Good. Spinning it out. Man, this hurts just watching. Three hundred and fifty watts. Oh. Cadence is slowly dropping. I'm battling. I'm really grinding here. Heart rate is just maxed out. Will I see 187 in the heart rate? Will I see it? Oh, cadence is falling. And that's it. That is a true max effort. Ah. 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 Good ah. job. Boom. 256, 19 watts. Ah. 19 watt increase. That's 8% increase from my previous. Yeah. yeah. That felt good. Felt good. Great gains here yeah. uh, in six yeah. weeks. Yeah. Really happy about that. Um, I feel good about everything. I didn't know it would go up so much um, because of the whole thing, the sweet spot. You know, I didn't do any workouts above threshold. So I was, man, how can I possibly like get better? I went deep. You know, I was deep. You, I went real deep in that one. I was real deep. So it worked. I think the, the strength helped and the group rides, a few group rides where I did stimulate my anaerobic and VO2 max, the, the higher end stuff helped out. Um, and definitely the muscular endurance of sweet spot training. So very happy about that. Um, really excited about the build phase that's coming up. I just started it, it starts, uh, I have uh, the first workout today. No, it's kind of an endurance ride because yesterday I did the FTP test, the ramp test. Uh, so I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to do another video on the next assessment, see where that's at. That should be really, um, really exciting to see. I think they have me doing an FTP test halfway through the block. So at, in four weeks, I might do another one. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this, the plan builder, racing, uh, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Any update videos? And um, follow me on Instagram for all those day-to-days of my workouts. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.